on, Charles, you can beat him. Prince Charles defends himself rather well. Does this mean I passed the test? Well, you certainly have improved. Thanks to you, sir. You are an excellent teacher. Alex, what's my next class, please? Power and politics, Charles. But that's boring. I'd rather fence. Zarel's dog's doing here. Hello, doggies. Are you guarding our books? Where's your master? Huh? I wonder what he's doing here. And why are his dogs guarding the door? Who's there? Come, lads. Find out what he's up to. Is that tray meant for His Majesty the King? Yes, my lord. Give it to me. I'll take it to him myself. Majesty, first let me say that you are the picture of hell. May I have the honor of serving your hot chop? Zarel, what a surprise. My queen, you look ravishing as usual. I'm flattered, sir. I'm sorry to come without an appointment, but I'd like a word about your son. Prince Charles has become a very fine swordsman, but as far as his other subjects are concerned, he shows very little interest. Yes, indeed. His tutor has brought the matter to our attention countless times. We've been looking for ways to make him more responsible. Well, I wouldn't worry about it too much, Majesty. The Prince is quite an intelligent young man, as everyone knows. I think the reason behind his lack of interest may lie elsewhere. If you have any idea as to how we can make him a more serious student, please tell us. Perhaps he needs motivation. A nice young lady who'd be willing to marry him and settle down. You mean find him a fiancé? Yes, it would be the best way to make Charles understand that as the heir to the throne, he has great responsibilities. I think you might be right. I was 17 when I took the throne, and Charles has turned 16 this year. My point exactly. I think we should act right away. Zara. Yes, Majesty. I want you to start rounding up candidates for Prince Charles, but be discreet. Yes, of course. Your wish is my command, Majesty. At all times, the King must act with authority and nobility. Above all, he must remain impartial. There are many times when the King must make, uh, must make very quick decisions, and it is very important that his judgment be based on his knowledge of the stakes made in the past. I challenge you to a duel! Charles, not now. Oh, gentlemen, please settle down. Such behavior is not worthy of a future king. When your father was your age, he was much more serious. As a matter of fact, he would often come to my study late at night and ask me questions about history, geography, grammar, mathematics. He was a brilliant student. Now, where did they disappear to this time? Alex, I need your help. Again? But this is the second time this week you run off. Don't argue, just help me. No one can know I've gone into town. Well, at least let me come with you, Charles. Someone might recognize you and try to hold you for ransom. Be reasonable. No one will recognize me, I'm sure. I'll see you later. If the king ever hears about this, we are in serious trouble. Cinderella! What have you taking her so long? We should have left by now. Mother, I want you to buy me a dress that makes me look older. Something like the ladies at the royal court would wear. And I want a new dress, too, with lots and lots of lace and satin with big bows and pearls. I really need one. And I need a fancy hat with feathers, a new necklace, and lovely shoes. And I want a hat to match my dress exactly. Fine, fine. I'll buy you girls anything your hearts desire, just as long as you stop screeching. Where's Cinderella? She's going to make us late. If we wait too long, all of the shops will be closed. Pierre, go see what's keeping my stepdaughter and tell her to come right away. I'll go find her right away, madam. Here, we're almost done. You're going to town today? Yes, they're all going shopping. Last one. <laughs> yeah! Thank 
you. You guys sure are fast. Misha, stop that, you bad cat. Misha, that's enough. Now you get out of here. And stay out, you big meanie. Cinderella, your mother and sisters are waiting for you to go to town. I'll be right there. But I need a few minutes to change. I'm an absolute mess. That's not true, Cinderella. Even in your house dress, you're the most beautiful young lady I've had the pleasure of knowing. Oh, I'm sure you say that to everyone. Sorry I'm late, Mother. That's quite all right, Cinderella. This delay just means that we won't have any time to go to the cheaper shops for you. Come on, get in. Mother, you can't let us be seen with her in the state she's in. It's degrading. I won't have it. We would never live it down. But I didn't have time to change. Well, girls, what's it going to be? We, we leave, leave her here. here. If we leave Cinderella here, who's going to carry our packages? Did you think about that? Oh, uh... It's decided then, Cinderella. You will accompany us, but you'll have to sit up front. There's no room in here for you. Yes, ma'am. Go on. We've lost enough time as it is. Stop arguing and hang on. The road is starting to get bumpy. Bumpy? Oh, oh. Oh. Let's go, Margaret. Faster. Yeah. Cinderella, slow down. Cinderella's learning how to drive a carriage. Ooh. Charles is almost fanatical about his appearance. His assistants have to brush his clothes until there isn't the slightest speck of dust on them. He can leave such manners. And I heard that he throws away his shoes after he's worn them the once. What a waste! These friends, I suppose, can buy as many pairs of shoes as he likes. <laughs> 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 you wanted. <sighs> this is the store I was telling you about, Mother. It's supposed to have the best dresses, and the royals even shop here. I want a dress covered in lace. With lots of layers to hide your big tummy. You should talk. Wait till we try them on. you to wait outside with the packages. But I would love to see. <laughs> Why waste everyone's time? What you're wearing is perfect for you, and it's not as if you'll be going anywhere where you'll need a new dress. I'll just wait for Papa to bring me back a new dress from his trip. And some fancy shoes, too. Flowers today, miss? No, thank you. I don't have any money to buy them. Oh, I see. Well, good day to you. Oh. What about the flowers over there? Well, those are damaged. I'm throwing them out. That's too bad. They still look nice. May I have them? Sure, help yourself. I'm so sorry. Here, let me help you. I'll pick those up. Oh, it's you again. I recognize you. You're the boy I ran into the other day. That's right. You remember. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. He seems like such a nice boy. And he's handsome, too. 
<laughs> Strange coincidence. Only you ran into me this time. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Now, where are you going? I'll give you a hand. Thank you. Oh, they're all going to be wrinkled. Are all those fancy packages yours? Uh, of course. Wade, why don't you let me help you? That's quite all right. I can manage. Thank you. Uh, you know, if fate saw fit for us to meet again, it must be so we can get acquainted. Oh, no, I doubt it. Well, at least let me take some of those packages. I said I was fine. Now just leave me alone. Oh, look out! Oh, oh. oh, my head. Now, will you please accept my help? Pardon my curiosity, but do you live in town? No, I don't. Well, how did you get into town, then? In a carriage, obviously. I should have known. Your mistress sent you with the carriage to pick up all of her packages. No, I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I... Uh, wait, I didn't mean anything. Mother, I'm absolutely famished, and if I don't eat something soon, I think I'll faint. That's enough, Jean. Be patient. Anyway, if you don't stop eating sweets, the tailor will have to let out your dress before it's finished. You take that back, Catherine. Jean, find Cinderella and tell her to have Pierre come pick us up. But don't you dare go to the sweet shop on the way, or else tonight you will not get your supper. <gasps> so, do you know how to ride horses? Huh? Would you like to go horseback riding with me? Not so long ago, I used to ride with my papa all the time. And just recently, I learned how to drive a carriage. <laughs> You're talented. Where could she have gone? Huh? What is she doing talking to a complete stranger? I've got to find out what those two are talking about. It brings back such memories. Do you like to hunt? Where I live, we like to go pheasant hunting in the garden. <laughs> you can hunt in your garden? Well, yes, of course. Pow! I don't believe in hunting animals, especially for sport. Poor helpless creatures. Helpless creatures? Anyway, I know you're just pulling my leg. There aren't any gardens big enough to hunt in, except for the one at the royal castle. You are nothing but a big bibber. No, I'm telling you the truth. I live there. I really do live at the castle, but I don't hunt. I'm not even allowed to touch the rifles. He lives at the castle? Impossible. Gee! The king is the only one who can hunt pheasants, and I, um, I help Prince Charles with his fencing lessons. Fencing? You and Prince Charles? Yes, I'm his page, and he's my best friend. That's why I live at the castle. Really? Tell me something about him. Is he as meticulous as they say? Can you that story about him only wearing shoes once? What? Actually, if there's a pair of shoes he likes, he wears them until they fall apart. I don't believe you. You're fibbing again. I'm telling you the truth. He's just an ordinary boy. When we go walking in the woods, we come back covered with mud. And his favorite sport is sword fighting. Ha! I don't believe you. Our prince is not like that. No, don't go. Please, come back. I can't. My mother and sisters are waiting. I have to go. But we haven't been introduced. Please, at least tell me what your name is. I don't reveal anything to Fibbers. Goodbye, Fibber. Mother! Here I am. Forgive me, I completely lost track of time. Who were you speaking to, Cinderella? Just a boy I met a while ago at the flower festival. Well, the girls and I still have a few errands to run, but you needn't wait for us. Take all of our packages home on foot and get supper ready for when we arrive. <gasps> and don't wrinkle them. <laughs> You're certain this boy is Prince Charles's page. Yes, and he even talked about his shoes. And he said he was his best friend and sword fighting partner. If he's telling the truth and he really is the prince's page, then he must know him better than anyone. We could question him about the type of girls Prince Charles likes, and then one of you will marry him. Right. right. gone into town today? Everything is nice and neat here. You've done an excellent job. 
Let's see what dear Cinderella is up to. She's walking home. Oh, dear, at this rate, I won't even be home before nightfall, and that means I won't have time to prepare supper like Mother asked. I'll get scolded again. The poor girl's exhausted. Boy, Cinderella really needs our help. Thanks to my magic, they'll be able to help her get home safe and sound. I knew he couldn't possibly live at the castle. His clothes were filthy. Prince Charles would never dare. Shh. Look, up there. He does live at the castle. So he was telling the truth. It doesn't mean anything. He could just be a stable boy or a servant. It's no use. I can't take another step. Cinderella. Huh? Cinderella. Cinderella! My friends, what are you all doing here? How did you know where to find me? Abby told us where you were. She saw you when she was flying home. I'm going to round up some of my friends to help you carry all of this. I'll be right back. Thank you. You're the best friends we'll on earth. take this package. Let's get you home. Just a bit longer now. We're nearly there. Right. You should have paid more attention, girls. His clothes were of high quality, made from expensive material. He's certainly more than a mere servant. He must be a page. Mm. What I want to know is how Cinderella met him. She's certainly not of his class. Here, faster! Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for your help. Let's prepare supper. I won't have time to make anything fancy. They'll be disappointed. Huh? Oh, who did all of this? Incredible. Are you the ones who went to all this trouble? Mm -hmm. Well, who was it then? Why worry over the details? Hurry up and set the table before you step. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Welcome home. I hope all of you are hungry. <gasps> oh. Sit down. I'll serve you. Oh, it looks delicious. Wait. But mother ain't famished. It's about time. You did exactly as I ordered. I'm pleased for once. Thank you. We'll be having someone over for supper soon, and I'll need your assistance. Of course. I'm talking about that boy you were speaking with at the fountain. You will invite him here on my behalf. But that's impossible. I, I don't even know his name. We met again purely by accident. Who do you think you are? You can't refuse to extend one of Mother's invitations. Are you ashamed of us, Cinderella? No, of course not. It's settled then. First thing tomorrow, you'll try to find him and you'll invite him to dine. And if you don't do as I ask, you will regret it. I'll try my best, ma'am. You'll start early. And I expect you to outdo yourself with the meal. <laughs> 